want to be a part of this story? Do you want to be a professional storyteller, but you don't know where to begin? Do you need help knowing how to tell a good story? Do you want to know where to find stories, how to meet your target audience, how to build a repertoire? Well, I can help you with all these things because I've been on this amazing journey to becoming a storyteller myself. I've learned what works. I've learned how to build a repertoire, how to build a fan base. I've learned how to overcome my insecurities to become a full-time professional storyteller with my own storytelling company. As a storyteller, you need to be a director, a divisor, as well as a performer. I can show you how to do these things. You have to learn how to promote yourself. I've had lots of experience in training and supporting people who want to become storytellers for a new career or within their own jobs, whether that be in education or in business. At the end of the session I felt really confident and I feel confident now that if I was in a classroom I'd be able to deliver a story in a, in a whole new way based on the, the things that I've learned today and help the children understand the story and be involved in and appreciate the story much more than they would have done before. Yeah, the whole process has really helped me sort of gain confidence and also thinking about how to lay the story out, doing it without any speech and just actions makes you think about how big your actions need to be to convey the message and then doing it just telling the story, thinking about how your voice has to change to, to get the um, encouragement going. Um, so yeah, it's been very helpful and I'm glad I did it. Yeah, I've gained a big amount of confidence. I think I could stand in front of the class more easily, um, like go into a role more easily um, and still feel confident about it and still feel that I still am in the role of the teacher, so to say, so that the kids feel like um, I'm giving them something so that they value what I'm doing. The stories are magical. What I love about it is it transports the children into a place in their imaginations that I think that they don't often get to go to. So often children are in front of a TV screen or a computer game and I just think it's so important to get back to the, the raw values of traditional storytelling. For many of our children, storytelling is a, a tradition in the cultures they come from and I think it's underrated and I think what Gemma and Nikki are doing is bringing the value of storytelling back into our culture and I think it's really, really important. For me, storytelling is an exciting and a dynamic art form. It's a celebration of, of language, of culture, of tradition, of history. It's a celebration of life. It's a coming together of people, a shared experience. And to be a storyteller is to push yourself. But it's a very exciting place to be. And I'm really excited to be able to offer training and support online. That means I can help you wherever you are at a time that suits you. The online mentoring course is made up of three one-to-one -one sessions with me and it's then followed by three months of email support so you can keep asking questions and I can keep supporting and motivating you so that you can really reach your goals.